never mind the humans at CES, 2018 is the year of the machines. Some say robots will take over the world one day. They're certainly taking over CES this year in all shapes and sizes. With all different intentions and moves. Because we all need a twerking robot in our lives, right? Or a big owl. Actually, the big one is just for show. This is what Chinese company Link is releasing. Luca is all about education. She does what some parents never have the time to do. She reads to the kids. You just simply put a picture book in front of Luca, and uh, Luca can read it out loud, read a uh, picture book for the children. We think uh, two to eight years old uh, is a very essential age for children to foster a habit, and uh, reading is a very good habit. We want to help kids to foster a habit of reading. And staying with education. He teaches children from four to six how to program. Albert is a fairly simple idea, but he's imagined for a changing world. So this, this is basically using a robot to teach a child what is going to be a very important life skill in the future. Yeah. And so this is because this is only level one, we don't t teach Swift or Java or Python or anything like that. We're actually teaching them like skills on how to like, hey, if you run into a problem like right here, what do you do? You have to turn left. But what if you accidentally run over someone? What do you do then? We kind of teach them those life skills. The idea is that robots don't just do cool things, many of them are intended to enrich our daily lives. Sure, Amy may seem like nothing more than a glorified electronic maid. Good morning, Robbie. It's 6.30 in the morning. But she could have uses in medicine, too. By using this robot, doctor, doctors, they don't need to go to the world in person. Using the telepresence functionality, the doctors can control the robots, go through each ward and talk to the patients, and this saves a lot of time and energy. And the brains behind things like this, AI or artificial intelligence, really driving the show here. The steering wheel is turning automatically. Baidu showing off its proud AI, autonomous vehicles. Chinese made, but here to take on the American dominance of Google and Uber in this field. A lot of Chinese companies, you know, they, their approach is always, well, we'll build it and see if there's a market for it. And if there isn't, we'll shift. Um, and there has been interest just because it's starting to become possible to build these sorts of drones, like a lot of companies have started, to, or robots, they've started to make them. But whether there's actually a market for that, I, I don't think that's clear yet. Of course, CES will always be a mix of the genuinely useful, like underwater drones, helping us to explore places that still remain uncharted. And the surreal, like the dog that isn't actually really a dog. But that is part of the fun here, as you walk or slide around and you see what the future holds. Phil Lavelle, CGTN, at the Consumer Electronics Show, CES, in Las Vegas.